Namaste, everyone. Uh, this class is a chair or no chair yoga class that we're going to enjoy empowering ourselves. And this class is regarding a concept or rather the situation that's really palpable and what's going on in the world right now. And it's about a divine chaos. It is very much convoluted in two hemispheres, real and unreal, and good versus evil, Des I guess desperation or despair and chaos versus good and clarity and love and intuition. And so between hope and chaos, we keep going back and forth. Most of us, we feel in it. We are feeling it. And it is really difficult for those of you or those of us that are not really um, uh, dive in to self-empowerment. Um, if we give to fear, if we give up our power to fear of an unknown, a fear of freedom, fear of self-empowerment, fear of our own personal power, fear of just being us, being who we really are, we suffer greatly, and that is not the direction to spiritual growth and consciousness. And so it is, we dedicate this class to your own personal power, to your own freedom, having freedom inside, having peace inside, even though the world is chaotic. We have to be able to trust our own intuition. This is the time more than ever. We've never experienced that in history. And according to historians and philosophers and our great masters and teachers right now, they are all in agreement that we've never had this happen in the history of humankind. And technology is actually the leading the spirituality and we are so lucky and blessed to be born at such time. According to yoga, we are here at no accident we are here because we all have a mission to fulfill. So we have to do several things. One, claim our power. Trust our own intuition. Define what our work is. Clarify our mission to know why we are here. What is our foundational work? How we serve other people. Number four, don't give in to freedom, to, to uh, fear, fear of whatever it might be, and to learn how to let go of fear. And lastly, it's all about keep moving to love, to faith, to trust, and to uh, more freedom, more love, more growth, more spirituality. We are defining our relationship to nature, to the world, and one another, one another. We are all in the same field. This is very important work for us to do at this time. In fact, my uh, one day silent retreat on December 4th is dedicated to all of this, to define all of this within ourselves. We have to define our values. And so let's come up on our feet. Uh, let's practice an enjoyable yoga practice. We are going, I'm going to show you many different ways of practicing each posture. And I thank you so much for being here. Definitely you want to get your comments and uh, feedback about how uh, studio is going online with pre-recorded videos. Thank goodness we're not having any more issues with interruption with the internet. And so here we are doing pre-recorded. It's a beautiful day here and um, in the holidays. And so welcome. Uh, stand up and have a chair in front of you or not have a chair in front of you. Everything I will be practicing instead of the chair, you can actually put your hands on the floor. I have the, uh, the mat tilted so that you can see better with the posture. So already stand up on your own two feet. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up, even lean back, squeezing the buttocks. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, come on up halfway, flatten your backs. Exhale, squeeze your abdomen, release your spine all the way. 
Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Inhale, lean back. Exhaling, bringing the arms beside you. Good job. Again, inhale, reach up, look up, rooting through the feet. Exhale, forward fold. You can bend your knees all you want. Inhaling, flatten your backs. Exhaling, this time we're going to go to downward facing dog. Again, you can have your feet apart, hands on the floor apart, or hands on a chair. You can move side to side. Downward dog is an upside down pose that you create a triangle with your body, hands and feet. All your toes and fingers will become toes. Both hands become feet. Lift your tail up, bend your knees a lot, stretch. One more deep breath. Exhale. Step your feet all the way to the front of your mats. And put your hands either side of your feet or on the chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhaling, release the arms by your side. Inhaling, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhaling, forward fold, letting go of all those fearful thoughts that cause the fear and the worst case scenario. Inhale, flat back. Exhaling, downward facing dog one more time. This time I'm gonna take my hands to the floor and assume a different foot posture. Good job. In yoga practices, when we are doing a flow, we uh, are encouraged to squeeze those arms and legs and abdomen, back muscles, everything, like contract the muscles in our bodies and stretch them at the same time. Inhaling, pressing into your palms, rolling the shoulders away from your ears. Exhaling, lifting the tailbone, flexing at the hips, and then pressing the legs down, feet down to the floor by squeezing the legs and our abdominals. Inhaling, look forward, step your feet up, flatten back, exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up, so good. Exhale, release the arms by your sides. Again, inhaling, arms up, reach up, look up, breathe in hope and love. Exhale, release all the fear and doubt. Inhale, flat back. This time, right foot stays where it's at. Left foot steps all the way back into your lunge. You can have your hands on a chair. I'll tell you what, go grab a chair. This is so nice. And or have your blocks or you have put your hands on the floor. Reaching through the leg, look up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Reaching through the leg, that means you reach through the back heel as if there was a wall behind, smack right behind your heel. Strong legs. Front leg is a 90 degree. Make sure that you don't let the knee wobble and squeeze to the out or inside. Re directly bring it right over your heel. Shoulders down, breathe. <sighs> Bend the back leg, step the front foot back into the downward facing dog. Three breaths. <sighs> Make sure your feet, your hands are aligned outside of your feet parallel. Breathe, middle fingers point forward, other fingers point outwardly. Hey, if you have got the chair, you can grab the chair, but if your hands are on the floor, then you have to have your fingers like that. Exhale, step your feet forward. Flat back, flat back, both feet are parallel. Good job, everybody. Exhale, release and let go. As you come up, remember, you don't have to make these choices and work on these important issues Exhale, bring the arms by your side because of, because I said, because your parents said, because your partner said, this is a personal power. Inhale, arms up, reach up. It's like, I want to claim my divine space on earth. Exhale, I want to let go of all the stress and confusion and anger. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right foot steps back and you say to yourself, I am smart enough, meaning I make the right choice for me. I am strong enough. I am stable enough. I know I need to do it. I am so ready to join my human 
sisters and brothers and be a voice for them, to support them. I want to be the best version of myself. Nothing will get into my, in my way. Even if you get all your strength together, arms up, reach up, look up. And then exhale, downward facing dog. If you're using a chair, make sure you don't let the chair slide away like I was doing a minute ago. Be very, very careful. <sighs> exhale. One more breath. So good. Hands, I meant to say feet come up to the chair, to the front of the mat, flat back. Breathe in, exhale, release, forward fold. Arms up, reach up, look up, lean back, squeeze your legs and buttocks. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, left foot steps back, left foot, so right foot stays where it's at. Left foot steps all the way back into a lunge. Now what we want to do is we want to leave one hand, uh, preferably the opposite hand. So the right foot is forward, take the left arm up and reach up, reach through the back leg, reach through the left arm, reach up, look up. Front leg is still a 90 degree, exhale, come back, good job. Front foot goes back into the downward dog. Breathe, enjoy your down dog. Tighten those muscles and stretch them at the same time. <sighs> so good. <sighs> Next inhalation, lengthen the spine, press into the floor or the mat or the chair. Exhale, reach through the hips up and back and Press the heels to the floor, inhaling, step your feet all the way back. Once you get there, flatten your backs. Exhale, forward fold. Arms up, reach up, look up, lean back. Exhaling, releasing the arms by your side. I'm already warmed up, how about you? I don't need my jacket anymore. Oh goodness. So inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhaling forward fold. I don't know about you, but my head is getting closer to the chair. I'm much more flexible now. Inhale, flat back. Right foot goes back. Exhale. Have you found yourself like you get really angry at some times and you're like, nope, I am just so angry. I can't believe this has happened. That's it. I'm done. I'm stuck. This stress is just devouring me. And then you do some yoga and you're like, oh, well, maybe there's other ways, you know? <laughs> right arm reaches up, right leg reaches back, hold. Stay strong through your whole body and say with me, I am powerful. I have choices that allow me to have control over my own freedom inside of me, my personal life. And then hand come to the chair or the mat. Slide your front foot back into the downward dog. <sighs> and as you release your head and neck and uh, spine, say with me out loud to yourself, say, I'm releasing everything that's holding me back. <sighs> Letting go of all fear, all anger. I'm using my anger and shame all the unfair stuff, everything that I cannot change. I'm using it as fuel to be better, to be grateful, to help others, to serve, to learn, to study. <sighs> we must always study. From here, we're going to walk to the front of the mat and we're going to flatten our backs and we say, yes, yes, yes. Exhale and say no to fear and anxiety. I'm releasing it, letting it go. Arms up, reach up, look up, look up, lean back. Be flexible. I am flexible. I am teachable. I'm open. Bring the arms by your side and then roll your shoulders back. Bend your elbows and lean back. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, flat back. This time, we want to leave the right foot where it's at, 
Left foot steps back, and this time the left foot goes all the way to the outside of your mat. Slide your front foot all the way to the right side of the mat. Left foot slides all the way to the left side of the mat. Make sure both feet have enough room. If your right toes, if you're using a chair and your right toes are like smacked by the leg of the chair, you're like, well, my toes are gonna to slide a little bit. So make sure your toes and your feet are really grounded. You got it? Now, I'm gonna to have to move my chair a little bit over to this side. I'm gonna put my forearm on a chair. You can put your forearm on your front thigh, okay? Or your block. Lift your belly towards the sky and then add the arm up. Take the arm back, then slide the arm down towards the floor and slide it over your ear and look towards your upper inner arm and, and then lift your chest, lift your head, lift your ribs, reach through the back um, leg, press into the back heel, reach through the upper arm, both shoulders down and away from your ears and your front leg strong. You're breathing. Squeeze the front leg directly in a 90 degree angle. Hold, hold, and then bring the arm down. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to put the forearm on the leg a little bit more, lift the chest a little bit more, and just take the upper arm straight up. Look up at it, or you can bring the front hand outside of the front foot, or you can hold on to the chair. Whatever, you have options. You got blocks. Breathe, breathe and then release the arm behind you. Use the chair or your leg to straighten the front leg. So good, good job, good job. Turn to the chair or the front foot, and we would just wanna straighten the front leg. Step the back foot forward. Good, into a flat back and say, yes, yes, yes. Exhale, and as you release, you say, I let go of every bit of the fearful thoughts, angry, creating thoughts, letting go of all the stressful thoughts. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Inhale, arms up, reach up, grounding yourself through your feet. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, yes, yes, yes. Exhaling, right foot steps all the way back and ground your foot. I am going to move my chair so I can face you. Right leg goes back. And, and I love using a chair, by the way. I don't know about you. So lift your belly. Back foot is on the outside of the, foot, the mat. Front foot is on the outside as well. Swing the back arm down and up. Reach it over the ear. Breathe here, open yourself. The hips are open in this posture. Chest is open, heart is open. Your mind is open. Breathe here. Good. Now swing the arm up. Change whatever you're doing with your arms or not. Reaching up. Breathe here and say with me, I choose to claim my personal power. I choose to remain peaceful and calm. I am the emissary of light and peace and love. I want to be of service to others and create peace and love. Bring the arm down and then turn towards the chair or the mat. Lift the back heel, slide your front foot back into the downward dog. This time, bring your feet together. Reach, reach, reach. And then come up and flatten your backs, inhaling. Yes, yes, yes. That means I can do it, right? Forward fold. Arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Now, I want to ask you, to leave the left foot where it's at, right foot steps back again, because I forgot to ask you to straighten the front leg and turn to the chair. <laughs> the other side I did. From here, take a deep breath, and then step the back foot forward. Now, there's a pose called pigeon. It's going to stretch the, the buttock area and the outer side of your thighs. 
we hold a lot of fear and tension. It's also gonna open the hips. You have all these options. You can, first of all, sit on a chair at the edge of the chair, and then cross one leg over the other like that, and it's going to look like a, a number four. Like if I put my chair here, I wanna make sure. Those of you that know the pigeon, go for it. Right leg forward. So this is a pigeon. Front leg, bottom leg is a 90 degree. Upper leg is like a box. Upper foot is flexed. And you can shake hands with your toes. Emily loves this. And sitting straight up, put some weight on your upper leg. So don't round your spine. Sit straight up and lean forward. Strong legs and abdominals. You can also use the chair to do a pigeon like this. You're gonna hold onto the chair, make sure you don't just slide all over the place or fall off the chair. Bring your uh, shin on the chair. Put your upper, uh, your forearms on the back of the chair. And then look at my back foot. Back heel is not all the way to the mat, but I'm pressing it to the mat and it feels amazing because I'm getting a good stretch in my calves on the backside. And I, my front heel is pressing into my thigh. Hip is open, outer thigh stretching, and I can demonstrate the other side also. I think it would be better here, just like that. And then there's a stretch in the lower abdomen. You can also do it this way. This is a lovely way to do a pigeon uh, painlessly, I guess, both, both of those uh, uh, methods. Another way that most people like is you bring your four, uh, uh, I keep wanting to say forearm, your shin on the floor, you're gonna push the chair away, hands on the floor, reaching through the back leg, and, and that's it, you're gonna stay here. Same posture, demonstrate the other side. So we've done this before. Make sure your backs are strong and nothing is hurting. And then breathe here. Breathe, breathe here. And whichever, and whichever version of the pigeon that you want to practice, take, prideful, take pride in it. And as you are enjoying the posture, I'm going to use my chair to do it. Um, say mantras means words repeatedly in your mind, such as, I am open to feeling my fear. I am open to feel my fear. I accept how I feel. I am safe now. Meaning I don't have to give up just because I'm fearful. You know, I was reading a uh, very, very mm, touching article in the Hitler era, the World War II, and how they were, the guards, um, they were killing the children and they had everyone imprisoned and in uh, just horrific situations. And one of the guards who was interviewed um, afterwards, and uh, he confessed that certain times there were only a hundred guards, that's it, 100 guards, and hardly any ammunition. They had not been delivered more ammunition. And there were like thousands of prisoners, and fear is how they could control them. You know, they would do the unthinkable to them, but out of fear, no one will just, you know, uh, protest and fight back or anything. They just cried and wept and became smaller and smaller. And, and it's a good, good analogy for us to really kind of uh, think about that deeper and deeper. What is fear? Why do we, are, why are we afraid to be who we really are? Why, why are we so afraid of being our highest potential? Why are we so afraid to trust our own intuition and to do what we've never done before? Why, as species, are we like that? Downward dog, please. Transition into the down dog before we switch sides. And you know what? We're not destined to stay afraid. We are not to take anything 
personally, we have to let go of the shore. Let's practice the other side. And you know what? We don't have to go all out all of a sudden. You know? We have to first decide. Once we decide, then we dedicate a certain amount of time each day to do this inner practice and to define what our work is. If you don't know what your work is, why you were born, what you were born to do, give that some thought. Ask the universe, I want to know what my work is. I want to know who I need to serve. If you already know, fantastic. Keep at it. Keep serving. And, and keep learning more. Keep growing. Keep studying, right? And then, what am I afraid of? And, and uh, how much of my inner peace am I giving away? And am I uh, sacrificing for just because it's chaos outside? And we have to keep coming up to that inner balance. That's what these classes are here for, right? This is why I'm here. This is my mission. No matter what, we never can go back. We can never go back to yesterday. No. We always go back to the beginning, which is the foundational work for us. Peace, love, forgiveness, acceptance. But we can never go back to yesterday. It's sad. Maybe it's not sad. Maybe it's happy. All right, so let's downward facing dog. Oh, that side was so much tighter for me. Yeah, it's sad we cannot go back because we cannot be young again. We cannot redo anything. Yeah, but you know what? We, if, we, if this is what it is on this planet, might as well accept it and move on. You know, it might be hard. We may have a temper tantrum. We can give ourselves about three days. <laughs> then we got to, okay, let's go. Let's pick up the pieces and go and be even stronger than before. Now let's do a plank pose. I love to do plank on a chair. Both heels are up off the floor. Roll the shoulders away from your ears. Don't drop your hips heavy. Lift your hips up. Squeeze your buttocks. Squeeze your rib muscles, tighten the shoulder blades towards the spine. Squeeze your legs and keep reaching through the legs. Inhale, exhale, move back to the downward dog. Inhale, plank, exhaling, downward dog. One more, inhaling, plank, exhaling, downward dog. And then walking yourselves back into a forward fold, releasing the head and neck and the spine. Making sure you're not like going back that way. I do it all the time too, but I just caught myself, so don't do, don't do what I do. So you want to have your hips above your heels, and you want to be in a forward fold. Not in a back, backwards fold, you know, forward fold. Breathe deeply. So here, I want to ask you to bend your knees a lot, lift the head, lift the chest, flatten your backs, and then as you come up, come on up into a chair pose. When you come to a chair pose, you can turn the chair around and use the chair this way, and then put your heels right below your knees, move your tail back, lift the chest, and then you can press your hands into the chair. Make sure your knees are not collapsing. Squeeze those knees out. Hold, hold. Good. Lower. Move your hips back. See if you can put your hands on your legs. Tighten the abdomen. Move your knees out. Open your feet out. Open those knees out. Move your hips back. Chest open. Move your knees back. Move your hips back. We keep at it, okay? And then one more breath. Exhale, inhaling, rounding the spine. Come on up all the way. Inhale up and reach up. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Now we want to stand in our mountain foundation for a minute. Just stand here, hands to heart center. Check your feet alignment. 
Stand in that beautiful, confident pose. Close your eyes and quiet your mind. Claim your power by just standing tall and confident. Watching your thoughts come and go and being open to all the sensations that you may experience throughout your body. Breathing in, grounding, anchoring, rooting through your feet. Exhaling, reaching through the crown. Fantastic. Now we want to open our eyes and then we want to use the chair again or not. Again, you know, without the chair, you can, uh, you know, I like to use a chair. So I'm going to, I'm going to use the chair. I'm going to bring the chair next to my hip and I'm going to balance on one leg. So what I'm going to ask you to do is cross one leg over the other and squeeze your foot around the other shin, other your calves. And I can put the chair, whoop, <laughs> I forgot I'm on one foot. So you squeeze those thighs together. And then if you're adapt to yoga, so my left leg is over my right leg, my right foot is grounded. And then you bring the right elbow into the left elbow and you squeeze those forearms. But I think I'm gonna use the chair and I'm only gonna do my legs. So hips directly forward, squeeze your tummy. <sighs> chest up, squeeze your legs together, inhale, breathe and see if you can place a hand over your heart and hand holding the chair or maybe stand by the wall or something. Keep grounding through the legs, through the foot. Breathe in, breathe out, bring up the determination, the fire you need. Breathe in the earth's energy into your gut, into your belly. Exhale, <sighs> let go of everything that might be possibly holding you back. One more breath. <sighs> We're gonna undo our legs. We're gonna stand in mountain foundation, hands to heart, close your eyes and process. This is the second half of the pose. Ground through the feet. Exhale, reach through the crown. Feel your heartbeat. Feel any kind of a imbalance. Maybe you were wobbly. Maybe you never got your foot to go around your calves. Maybe this and that. Maybe you're watchful of your judgments. Let them all go. They have no place in yoga. The judgments come up. Comments come up. Just for us to see them not to believe them whatsoever. Deep breath and release. So good, inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, release the arms by your side. You ready? Take your other leg and cross it and see if you can whirl it around. Put your right foot against your calves on the left leg. And <sighs> Let's go for it. Breathe here. Make sure your hips are forward. Don't hurt anything. If this is not a, a pose for you, tree pose will be fine. Tree pose is just stand there and stand on one leg, holding onto the wall or the chair. Take pride in whatever you can do, whatever you're willing to do. Take some deep breaths. Squeeze those legs, tighten the abdomen. One more breath. Excellent. Release, undo your legs, marching in place, reaching the arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, release the arms, hands to heart center. Second half of the pose.
open your eyes. Let us go to the floor. Again, I'm going to continue using my chair. And now I'm also going to use a blanket. What we're going to do is we're going to place a blanket under our sit bones. We're going to slowly and safely take ourselves to the floor. Put the soles of our feet together, bottoms of our feet. Oh, am I just tighter today or what? And then I'm going to put my hands on the chair, even my forehead on my forearms. That's it. If this is not, sometimes the tightness, we can't even reach the chair, right? Like it was a struggle for me. So what you can do is open your legs wide, put your feet out like that and bring the chair closer. Find an easy way to do it. It's all good. In fact, I love this one more. Same pose, same benefits. We're going to do it in a restorative way. <sighs> so nice to have chairs and permission to use props and support. So relaxing and breathing. Resting all of our worries. In fact, I was going to set a timer. Okay, I got a clock right in front of me. I can keep an eye. We're going to be here for about five minutes, okay? So try your best to just relax and listen to the sound of yourself breathe. You can do it. Concentrate on the point between the eyebrows. Go into the middle of your head. Just feel yourself going deeper. One conscious effort after another. Relax your hips and belly. Make sure nothing hurts. If you wanted to and you needed to adjust the chair, please do so. Go back to the point between the eyebrows and take a deep breath and release it. Another deep breath and release it. The next inhalation, lift your head up, bring your hands it went by so fast, didn't it? Five minutes just goes by so fast. Rub your hands on your legs. Go reach towards your ankles and back. <sighs> now we're going to slip our hips directly on the floor. I'm going to throw the blanket way back so I can roll down. Use your arms, especially if you have back pain. Go back to the floor like that. Make the blanket uh, a... Pillow, resting, shoulder blades down, calves on the chair. Um, so during the cold season, the mats are really cold. Mine is anyway. Um, so you're welcome to fold a blanket and put it right underneath your lower back so that you can really relax, okay? If you want to come up to go get a second blanket, bring your knees into your chest, roll to the side, and then press into a seated pose. And um, yeah, and I always go back to the floor with rolling back, and then use the abdomen muscles to put your calves. Make sure your knees are all the way bent so that you're not lying down on your backs with your legs straight, and only toes or heels or calves, you know, just part of your calves on the chair. You want to really take care of your body. So 
Bring your attention fully to the body from the top of your head to the base of your feet. Taking refuge in your body. This is your temple. Squeeze your shoulder blades down. Slide your tail away from your chest and just spread wider on the mat. Breathe normally and just let yourself rest. Surrender your weight to gravity. Feel yourself feeling heavier and dropping in deeper and deeper into yourself. Gently close your eyes and quiet your mind. Now let's take three deep breaths together. Ready? Inhale together. Hold the breath and release it. Let it go. Breathe normally. Let's take another deep breath. Ready? Inhale. Hold the breath at the top. And release it all the way. Like you want to blow uh, birthday candles. All of them. Whole bunch of them. If you're my age, 60 of them. Oh, that's a lot of candles. Oh man, I should have asked for a cake. <laughs> I told my family, I don't eat cakes anymore, but I think I will. Putting out 60 candles, that's pretty cool. It was just a month ago, so I can go back and do it. Breathe in, breathe out. And let's take a third breath together. Ready? Inhale. Hold a breath. And release and let go. And breathe normally. I want you to imagine that you are entering into this really beautiful ancient building inside right in the middle of a forest it's not a castle but it's like a building it's been very well taken care of but it's so beautiful you walk in to the building over to the right there's a beautiful gigantic fire place going on the fire is burning there's wood flowers i mean wood f firewood lots of fresh flowers on the vases on the table such a beautiful cozy warm soothing place <sighs> just go gather go bunch up on this beautiful soft couch with Soft throws waiting for you, and the furniture is so majestic and beautiful. Just go listen to the firewood burning. Take some time to let go of all your worries and, and stress. Just take a little time to just relax in this fuzzy, cozy, beautiful, just breathtakingly beautiful place. So warm, so safe. 
through the big windows you can see the ancient trees and the colors are so beautiful and the sky is so beautiful it's just so nice but you're sitting cozy and warm by the fireplace you have nothing to fear nothing to worry about a place that you have been blessed with a huge opportunity for you to fixate your mindset or rather correct your mindset make decisions claim your power claim your confidence and self-esteem a place where you can really feel supported a place that you know you're worthy and you deserve all the love in the universe and then sometimes we have negative memories that may come up and definitely my intention is not for it to trigger you or to like remind you of negative memories at all I just want to say if this meditation should really create sensitivity inside just breathe with it just know that you are maybe ready now to address it and so just being with this beautiful beautiful experience by the by the uh, fireplace if should any negative thoughts anything that you may still be stressed or angry about or sad about or frustrated just remember now you're here to do something about it you are here to love you and that part of you that didn't have someone to love on to love on them you can love on them now that part of you that didn't have the love and the hug and the support you need they needed then so now you can change your whole mindset you can change how you look at the past you can just hug the part of you that doesn't feel safe that doesn't feel confident a part of you that's just sad lonely or angry just love on yourself bringing that part of you by the fireplace is very healing soothing warmth safety security protection and comfort and if you like you can wrap your arms around yourself around the part of you that might not still be a hundred percent prepared for what needs to be prepared for breathing deeply and then slowly begin to maybe wiggle your toes bring your knees into your chest and roll over to either side with your eyes closed resting on the side body for a little while and right there where the fireplace is enjoy meeting that part of yourself that has been crying in the dark all alone feeling left out feeling mad or sad or angry just meet it meet them and love on them and help them feel safe reassure them that they will never be alone again breathing in and out and ask them how you might help them feel better about themselves 
what you can do to help them feel better. And just listen to their answer that you'll get. After you get the response, slowly press yourself up with your eyes closed. If you have that blanket, open it up and wrap it around yourselves, keeping your eyes closed. Warm and cozy, feeling fuzzy all over. Place your right hand over the center of your chest. Put your left hand on top of it if you want to. And then feel love in your heart. Feel warm and cozy in your heart. Notice that through this beautiful meditation, your heart has been awakened. Your sacred heart has been awakened. And you're feeling green energy of love everywhere. And a part of you also that didn't feel loved or supported also, their hearts are open and glowing with this brightest green energy. Your hearts are connected through that green energy of love. Deeply connected. And see them, breathe with them. See them merge in your heart. Feel love in your heart for them. Feel them in your heart. You will never ever be separated again. And now feeling love, love for yourself. Let yourself love yourself. Whatever message you got from them, cherish it. Keep it with you. And now bow to yourself. Thank yourselves for showing up for yourself. For your willingness to step into your power fully. Completely, fully, without a shadow of the doubt. You are worth it. You deserve it. You are worthy. You deserving of all the love. And you are powerful and capable. And now you can walk your way out of the beautiful ancient building. From here on forward, that could be your meeting place. The meeting place with your inner child and your adult self you can always go by the fireplace in this ancient building it's only yours all within yourself in your own inner landscapes your inner forest where there's safety and security peace freedom breath light love and comfort no one can take this place away from you. <sighs> Slowly walk through the forest, feeling so high on life. And back to your bodies here, bowing deeply to yourself. Put a golden ball of love around yourself. And your inner child is in your heart, safe and protected. 
this golden ball of light. It's your safety and protection. Nothing from the lower dimensions or lower vibrations or any sort of energy can possibly seep through your golden light. Only positivity, blessings, wisdom, love, and all good can seep through it. In fact, you are a magnet for courage, prosperity, abundance, wisdom, joy, peace, gratitude, and safety. <sighs> namaste, namaste, namaste. May you always be healthy, happy, strong, aware, alert, and awake. Always. May you always know your worth and value. May you always have confidence in yourself, self-esteem in your beingness, your capability. May you always know you're lovable, capable, and valuable. Jai Bhagwan. Victory to your soul. <sighs> So until I see you for another class, if you have a moment to just be here with yourself in this meditative state, I highly want that for you. I hope to see you at the one day retreat. December 4th is a Sunday. I'll cook up my saffron rice and gluten free vegetarian meals, snacks and tea and coffee and we're going to have a yummy time. I hope to see you.